Okay, this is video number two of building a quick shifter. Um, I have everything assembled together. Here's a component, fully assembled, fully functional. Uh, let me show you how it works and then we'll take it apart and see what's in it. So this one has an output voltage of from 0.0 0.6 volts when you're not detecting anything all the way to whatever voltage you're giving it when it's detecting a magnet that is really close to it uh, in this case we're going to give it 5 volts so it should the output should be from 0.6 when there's nothing there to 5 volts when there is a magnet really close to it so if you look right here right there power it up <coughs> there it is we have 2.4 volts. Now, if I press on it, the voltage gets smaller. And if I pull on it, the voltage gets bigger. And uh, that's all it is. That's how you detect if uh, someone is trying to shift or downshift. And then, based on that, you can either cut ignition, fuel, however it is that you're doing to do your shifting. So uh, let's pull it apart and see what's in it. So here's the cat, uh, the body of the part. <coughs> you have the cap and the, uh, the shaft together, uh, the electronics. There's a magnet inside and two O-rings. We'll put it back together and then we'll look at another one. <clears throat> we'll take this one apart. I have a Let's closer look at all the components, including the electronics. So again, this is the, uh, let me give you a close up. So this is the the body of the component. We have the cap. And we have the shaft. There it is. Magnet. And we have the electronics. The electronics is just a simple, very simple sensor. It's a magnetic linear sensor, and uh, that's the black one right there. And along with a capacitor for reducing noise. Now, it, this is the uh, right here, the DRV50568. It's from Texas Instrument. You can get it online. And the way it works is if you get it close to a magnet, it will output a voltage depending on how close you are or how far you are from it. So let me power up. So you can see there's 0 0.6 volts because there is no magnet close to it. Then if you get a magnet close to it, you'll see the voltage starts to go up all the way to 5 volts. And then as you get farther apart, the voltage drops. So all you're doing is attaching it to the cap and when you press on it you can see the movement is minor very little and the voltage changes you pull on it it's the same thing that's it very simple component is reliable um, you do have to clean it like once a year uh, because of dirt that gets in it, especially if it gets at the bottom where there are instances where if it gets too much of it, it won't compress all the way, but it still works. That's it. Let me know what you think.